A company sent me this indoor insect zapper here, so let's open it up. I'll show you everything you get with it and then we'll see how it works. So with this, you do get this little mosquito zapper or a mosquito trap, I'm gonna call it. Um, you get an instruction manual, however you want to interpret this, it's not that great. Um, this is like a little bait um, holder, a little bait cup. I'll talk about that later. Here is the cable. It is a USB to USB-C cable. This is a cleaning brush to clean this thing. And then also here are 12 little glue pads. And these are interesting. We'll talk about those later as well. So first off, we'll talk about how this thing comes apart here. This twist, the top of it will twist, and you can take this off. You see it has kind of a mirror up inside there. This has lights around it. This little center part right here is the little spot that you put the cup, so just remove that. And now this is what we will add bait to. Um, the bait that we're gonna use for it is gonna be apple cider vinegar. This is supposed to attract mosquitoes. You're gonna just place that in here and put that back on top of it. That way it doesn't fall out. But let's go ahead and remove this some more. Twist the bottom of it, and you'll notice that this piece comes off. This is what's going to like catch the mosquitoes. And then this thing right here, um, it untwists and it comes off as well. So I'm really not for sure why all of this has to come apart, other than the fact of you can use this brush here to clean off any dead bugs uh, whether it's gnats, uh, fruit flies, mosquitoes, whatever it is that you might be trapping in this thing. And the reason I call it a trap instead of a zapper, um, I don't think it's going to actually zap any bugs. I think it's just going to trap them down in here. To lock this piece back in, just press it up in there and twist it clockwise and that holds it in there. Now these glue boards or glue pieces, uh, pads, whatever you want to call them, they don't talk about them in the instructions really. So there's nothing that says what these are for. It does have a protective coating on the top. Once you peel that off, this is sticky. So I'm just gonna go out on a limb here and say that what I think is that it should go into the bottom of this to collect any bugs. That way they'll stick to that. Now don't quote me on that because I don't know and it does not say with these instructions. So I really think these instructions could, could be a lot clearer, but that's what we're going to assume. Now to put this back on, you just want to line this up. Once you get it in there, twist it clockwise and this will lock in there as well. You will see the port on the back of it here. This is the power port, it's a USB-C port. It does not come with any power base, so you will need to plug this into a wall adapter or a battery pack of some sort. Now these buttons here on the front do nothing. So these are just for decorative purposes. The power button is that. All you have to do is tap that button there. Um, it's like a capacitive button or whatever so there, it doesn't press in. It just from the touch of uh, your finger there, it will turn on and off. And you can see how it is lit up. We'll go ahead and take this top off so you can see the lights. So you can see the lights all around this, and of course the fan would be sucking the bugs down into this. And it's fairly quiet. You're not supposed to be using this like in the room while you're sleeping anyways, but um, it is not very loud at all. You can probably barely hear it over my speaking here. If I stop talking and get the mic close to it, you can probably hear a fan just a little bit, but it is not loud at all. So this would be good just to put off in the room where you're not there and just let it start collecting bugs. So we are gonna use some apple cider vinegar to put into this little cup here so we can use this as a bait. We're just gonna put it right here in the little center part of this. I'm gonna go ahead and put the little cap back on it there and then put the top on. Now all we have to do is turn it on by tapping this button and there it is. And like I said, it's best if you use this in a dark room where no one is actually in the room.